for this exact matter, um, the landlord have encouraged me that, like, I was told by some, he personally dared to come in my face on that MKO to gesture me that he wonders even if I'm normal anymore in Slovenia, that they might not be able to help me out and stuff like this. Um, yeah, these things have gone really, really, really far. And have gestured me actually that I will prove myself based on if I will be even capable to um, repair this kind of toilet if I would go to the store and buy the right parts and so on and so forth. So they wanted me to waste money on this stuff. Likewise, it happened with uh, with what you see here that was missing. Um, Americans, what they did was they literally would go and they would suggest me the word nice have to be nice you have to be nice be nice be nice and have demonstrated me how to be nice this you go to the store the lady owner here the elderly lady gestured that this is something she would like to have and as a sign of respect you go and you buy this is like really really cheap it doesn't matter how much disrespect they give you they wanted to get respect for disrespect so they they give you the school on how basically for you to i don't know see yourself like a complete idiot in front of them give them authority basically to see you also as such treat you as such um this here purchased really nicely in a store in in Lourdes used store supplied mostly from Norway with the clothing stuff also used under MK Ultra they would know exactly when I come and put on display exactly the stuff that was involved in MK Ultra They're also supposed to go to the landlord's mom and stuff like this they uh, teached exactly on how um, you know what they expected from you. I said this is a condensed like this. So outside is warm. Here it's not warm. This is a lot of car. And so yeah, I have a video about this stuff, but what happens is basically in in a nutshell what happens is when you sit on a toilet is this here. This basically can see is what happens what happens is is that this here that you see this uh -huh. Let me make sure that you do see this here basically is made in a such a way that skids back and forth basically is it's a scheme back and forth see? so what happens is you sit on it and the only thing that happens is this thing is maybe you use one twice the only thing that happens is it flies like this side, way, just like that, zip, and you find yourself on a floor. It happens like this, especially if they help you during your absence, you go to work, and the neighbor comes and fixes this a little bit. Um, maybe the gentleman from Ukraine who promised me will give me a hard time if I'm going to dare to talk against Chris. Now, Chris is supposed to be some from Donald Trump out of wedlock and I did talk and even if I wouldn't talk it would be like this so this here this is this from here on I realized that this location here it's just not okay now this here and I have all for everything audio recorded proofs that was replaced because American psychologist, he too would sleep here. You see, the people that involved in MKUltra started to get so freaking afraid watching me 
about what went on with me. And it, I understand also happened to a few of them that they got them a few times. That he would barricade himself here. This is now, I think, plastic, yeah? It used to be glass. Lady reminded me of. He barricaded with have himself and the whole glass would break. He did something at night, I don't know what the hell was going on. Craziness, complete insanity. Instead of using this to relieve pain in my back, because this is the worst thing in the world, this is like a stone, this. This is a sofa like this, this, what this is. It's a stone, basically almost like on the floor. Instead of using this to help myself with a spine injury, I ended up using this here. Basically to barricade the entrance like this. Actually, this barricades really properly the whole thing. And would position something like this in case somebody would try to get in and objects on it so the whole thing would be falling down and would wake me up. Because it came to the point I would have people walking inside while I was sleeping and they made sure and i have a videos about that i'm gonna post they would leave me signs they were here uh, they were not shy of leaving me signs so i would sleep like this on the sofa without the tent right there like this against the wall and people would walk here back and forth and that really presented the danger for my stuff, for my audio recordings and stuff like this, video recordings I would not want to lose. So I figured out that it's time to barricade myself like this and ensure that nobody gets in when I sleep. Coins would be placed on these doors and stuff so that anybody would enter either way would give me at least some sign, something that Something is not okay here. There is a lot about the chicken store. There is all kinds of stuff, but that's something else. I'm not going to even go into this video. So this is basically, I'm demonstrating you what this is. Tent, I don't know how much you have you figured out. This beautiful tent that I've made it here really is beautiful but this is really idea of someone um, this tent everything that you see is assembled exactly as i was instructed to assemble in order to survive here during the winter time without the heating due to heating costs uh, all purchased from the store in lodge uh, and I didn't mind this idea, not even a little bit. It's basically how I managed to survive here, literally, because of the cold weather. Finally, about a month ago, I even got this, and it made thing a whole better for me. Eventually, I quite recuperated myself from the spine injury. I don't have anything like I had. Um, all through things are not quite as they should be. It's still bad uh, in the mornings. See, it's not good when you have a cracks like this open. You can see meat right there. In a cold weather like this, it's not pleasant, you know. It's not pleasant to be in an icy, frozen place like this, frozen, and they even go and disconnect the water, which the case was, uh, with a pain in spine. And go and ask people with a herniated disc, 
people who need disc replacement, what it means to stand up in a line for hours, and you would have other people going in front of you at immigration. Basically, they create a line like this, this allowing you to submit your application, line to you where you should stand, and so on. Not a pleasant stuff, folks. Not a pleasant stuff. So this is basically what this was. This is, I guess, area number three. Yeah, there are no doors here. This too, I was told by the landlord, just go and purchase this stuff myself if I want to have it. So this was all planned. It was from the sink that you have seen to this door, used everything you would you would normally use to protect your spine to take away from you, basically to strip you of the money and strip you of health through a really, really simple issues like this. The time I have spent here, I did not work on the computer for the last three months because inside here is a freezer. You cannot, you will not make it. Under MK Ultra, I was brainwashed to buy myself a heater and go inside of the tent and do it. I did one time, I realized that my spine injury would be a price too high I would pay for doing such a stuff. I stopped immediately, I have to say that. Let's go to this location here. This is the location number three, let's say. What you see is a gas stove The gas stove you can see the bottle right there, An 11 kilo bottle it is. This one did not last me ah, okay, let's see, one month, two months. It lasts me about two months, this gas, gas bottle. Um, two months and a half somehow I managed to get by with this gas bottle. With my coming back from work in September, doing nothing else here other than I would lay it on a sofa and smell the gas. The gas would be so abundant that, you know, very, very bad situation, uh, completely uncontrollable, uh, and again, done by most likely a neighbor, I would say. This is something they have attributed to the neighbor. In fact, they have attributed stuff that they would even have the ability to power uh, the unit somehow from the outside. Um, even that kind of stuff went on, I don't know, uh, and so on and so forth. So I figured out that buying gas and smelling my own gas, you know, when you would come home and the only thing you would get is the smell gas and you would have to open the windows to for gas to clear itself out this is not really the way to go because it's obviously the idea is to drive you insane smelling your own money basically is not the way to go so once the gas ended i was in trouble i didn't get for quite a few days nothing warm now i ended up in a cold place without even warm drink or anything and so i finally purchased myself this electric pot like this but electric pot only lasted 10 days brand new one a little bit over a week then the only thing that would happen sparks smelt
Aha, here you can see it. It's here, right? I also have a video recording for that. It would just be like this spot of what appears was like it burned basically. It burned. You see from what is covering the screws is covering they I don't know what they have done but they have made sure that it would not last more than 10 days it was just smell fire for fume it started to fume and i didn't have other left than to unplug the thing once i connected one again the light would work but the unit no longer would heat anything so again i was left without anything warm to drink it in a sub-zero temperatures luckily I bought this here on a flea market and it kind of saved my life all through this takes more electricity and everything else all this stuff is more expensive than gas stove but the thing about it is that you remember how they would not even deliver me glasses and stuff like this. The police organized theft of the wallet, personal documents, all kinds of stuff like this went on. To the point that I no longer would even want to go to the police. Why I would not want to go to the police? Well, people who tested them for this kind of issues you know picture yourself half blind for like over a year and they would play with your deliveries and stuff like this stealing them it was a stuff stolen it was a stuff switched and that was a police department and i know why i can explain new stuff you would probably not want to go there anymore to see the people, the police officers alone who were involved in MK Ultra, because, you know, uh, this is very, very personal stuff like this. It can get really, really personal. And for that same matter, in order to avoid a potential problem with a neighbor for whom I had was forced to sign on a contract that must be specified that I would not get any conflict of any kind um, it was really a good thing to I mean I wouldn't get in any conflict of any kind anyways I'm civilized that it was just better to go with electricity even that they would even destroy me this stuff they would even deprive me this so now you had really situations completely out of control. Like I said, even the water they have disconnected. You would have people eating from your glass jar here, your supplies that you purchase. Dripping stuff in, in that would cost you sound in your head like a high, high blood pressure sound and stuff like this um all kinds of issues that it's another video i'm gonna dedicate to it's too much it's too much stuff that that was done and like this in sub-zero temperatures like this play with the lights this is the light, this neon light that was used to literally signal me when I would talk here to myself, when I would do in certain projects, I would get the signal, like light would turn off turn, uh, and turn on itself, like shortly, tick, 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 tick. 
Now the thing that thing is that the thing is that it could destroy the light. If you go like this on, eventually you would destroy the light, and I could be held liable then uh, for the cost of uh, new light. Uh, you would eventually get to that. Now, just like you have seen the hole on one end of the place right there, if you go to the toilet, there is another one that is drilled through the wall right here. In fact, this was used by Americans to position themselves like a little pietric, like a little furnace here, which is now would be inside the place. And this is how they keep themselves warm. No, there is a pipe there, the smoke goes out and keep this place warm and you have nice, you're warm here. To reduce the cost, they have also positioned themselves here something, and so you would hit them in water and they would go and hit themselves. Now, I was prohibited from doing this. I was not allowed to use any of this stuff. A landlord would not agree with this. Landlord deemed that I have to buy leaves uh, type of, not egos, but leaves, uh, type of heating wood material for his furnace which he had outside. Now the furnace and no wonder still looks like new because nobody ever wants to use that. It's idiotic. It's idiotic to have a furnace basically outside on a cold and have delivered whatever goes through uh, a heat through this radiator is inside of the place. This is idiotic thing. Nobody does anything like this. Mom, his mom also has a furnace inside of the house. It's just I that supposedly would go, since I was not allowed to purchase my own furnace, that would supply that furnace with the most expensive heating material. Now, this was used for about a month and half to suggest me that pine tree let's say which is this area here it's like pine tree almost only it was not allowed to use he would not allow me to purchase the pine tree and stuff like that and then he used that with idea to get me by a pine tree because he came softer and suggested me the pine tree could be okay. The first, this was a trouble for him, that it would destroy him, his furnace and stuff like this, because it's a pine tree. But you got to see these things, what kind of stuff this is. It's a complete insanity. If I were to go and use uh, what you see right there, electric stove to bake, a boiler, Yes, a boiler, because the furnace that you're about to see does not heat water. It only heats this radiator. And for things to be even more idiotic, the boiler with the water is also outside on a cold. Therefore, on a freezing temperatures so that you can waste more electricity, so that you can, you can waste more on a heating, so that you can waste more on electricity. Uh, 150 is lotty, that would be like $150 in the US, if you would compare the salaries ratio, uh, it was completely normal to pay here. All through when a German from Ukraine was here with his wife, they would spend even 250 300 per month to live normally because of course when you have a lady then you have to do this um let's go and we're gonna see how basically they have um yeah so you got blowing this from one side to the other and so you're basically like outside, except this is worse because you got walls, thick walls, cement block like this, walls that 
uh, as the temperature drops down here, outside can be warm, here it's going to be ice. Um, outside the temperature can be 7, 8 degrees Celsius, here you're going to have 0. This is just the type of the place this is. This is what this is. And this is what it was like for the last three months. Ah, the door. The door, it's like this. The door, you cannot close the door. You cannot close the door. One time, the owner eventually even broke the key when he was fixing this, then he would come with a hammer and he would smash this here. He'll, eventually he would do it in such a way that you could close the door. But every time I would have something interesting, the appetites to get inside in here were great by my neighbors. And on several occasions they managed to fool me around. They were inside here, they got the stuff, they deleted me even Facebook profiles because of what I have lost videos and stuff like this. It was all kinds of damage they did. Uh, and so what they would do is, they would do something like this that you would not be able to close the door. This is end of the contract. Now, this thing happened a few days ago for two reasons. One is because they want to video record, audio record, you know, right across here. This is attached to another house. This is another unit right there. Uh, I was told this is a warehouse, whatever it is, but it might not be. I have no idea what it is. Now, if you go and you close this thing, it smashes. It causes noise. And that's the idea. The idea was to portray me that I am banging, breaking with the doors or whatever. Now, look at the door, the way the doors look like. If you want to rely on this stuff, that's why I said that people walked inside in here. You can't do nothing. This was detached. I have found like this. It looks like this. You can just go and you can pull this out and you are inside. That's all there is. Regardless, you cannot close no matter what you do. You can try to jam. The thing is that when they do the stuff like this, there is really nothing you can possibly do. Nothing you can possibly do. Here, in this place, the only way it works is what I demonstrated, and that came with a tremendous price. Now, place, if you would, something would happen here, look like extremely secure place. Look at this. But if you would believe this, it would fool you. This was done. Maybe so... They could suggest that this was a safe place or something like this. It was not. If you pay attention to this stuff here, it was all kinds of stuff that went on. God knows what kind of awards they had going on here. What, what kind of lunacy went here? What already went on here, they know. I have no idea. But I can tell you that you cannot lock this. This is, you cannot lock. It's done just like that door right there. You can lock top, you cannot lock this. It's done in a such a way that you cannot do it. It's here basically for decoration. The lock is like this that you can actually see through, out. And that's why I said that people walked inside in here. I'm going to try to demonstrate you what. You see those holes that you can see outside. Well, that's basically, that's one. Uh -huh. Now you can see the hole that you can actually see. Uh -huh. Let's see. It's about this. It's basically this hole. Uh, can you see out? Oh, let me just see that. You cannot see it because of that. Okay, I got on the wrong side camera. Now you can see, you can see out of both holes. And I was demonstrated how practically this is done basically people would actually even think if something would happen to me that I'm safe, that it's impossible and so on. No, it's actually very possible that you disappear from the place like this. It's done in such a way that um, 
really engineered in such a way that, uh, you know, special kind. Let's see from outside what this looks like. Okay, so this is basically what it is, looks like on the outside, like this. What it looks on the outside. It looks so tough, right, isn't it? But it's so easy, basically, to get in. The way this was done, this, this stuff here, it was done in a such a way that, and I was, I would be inside working at the computer, all of a sudden I would have the little landlord knocking me here, and it was locked. Um, just to let me know, basically, that, you know, And of course, always told that you're not going to be able to prove anything. Whoever, whoever wants to, whoever wants to. Ah. Okay. Okay. So this is where the furnace is located. This is the furnace right there. I have never used one. Yeah, and these are just the chickens that get killed. That's what makes me happy here, actually. And this here is a boiler, a water heater, if you like, which you would connect whenever you would want the, the warm water. You would connect this one into that thing right there. So you can see that unless you want to hit the place like this if you have so much money that you would do stuff like this this would not be a good idea at all this thing is also very small and so you would have to have a special size uh, wood that would not even last for too damn long if you would want to go and throw away money like this It would not last you for too long whenever you would load this thing then um, when you are crippled and you want to load yourself you want to stash yourself with the heating material that is a challenge too that also is a trouble because what happens is you see they are cold these poor guys here are cold look they yes i know um it just Imagine yourself crippled with herniated disc carrying around cubic meters of, of heating material, of wood and stuff like this, um, or coal and so on. This, this was the idea of this thing here was. This is why no heating, you see, this is why. This is why coal. When Americans were here, they would still have neighbor going right through what you see here. Right through what you see here, right here. He would go right through the wall like this. This would be covered and nobody would know how is it possible that he is inside of the home all the time. That things are broken, that things are get messed up and so on and so forth. This eventually they put the bars sometimes like in 2013 and they told me not to talk about this because it will not, um, I could get myself in a trouble. Uh, back then somehow they were still stimulated to somehow help me whatever uh, with these kinds of issues, tell me about what went on and so on. Uh, are these kind of holes elsewhere? Possibly, I do not know what stuff they have. I have not shown you the whole thing yet. And how exactly were my things destroyed? How did Facebook profiles were deleted from the tablet and so on? Never mind computer, if you left one here, definitely uh, visitations were a frequent thing. If you go from here, if you look at the night time when I came, and the car is right there where you see the tree right there. This is a very, very considering distance. You're talking about maybe at least 
at least 30 meters. So now at night time, here behind the house, whoever is hiding, you're not going to see anything. You will not know anything. Person is going to go, does not have to be. This is a back gate also, which behind this property, what, ca what can you not do? It takes about five minutes to get things from the car. Uh, you bring them inside of the home and you bring other stuff, you lock the gate, you lock the car, you lock all this thing, and that leaves plenty time for somebody that wants to do to you whatever they want to do. When you don't know about these things, uh, it's all kinds of stuff. And there is a possible there are other holes here, I don't even know, this is a garage and this and that. Too many scenarios they have organized and calculated what it takes basically to get the things done. Oh, you can see this is what it looks like. There is another building attached to this one right here. I was told that something like this would be completely unacceptable as I'm doing right now. But for me what is unacceptable is actually to allow something like this this is really unacceptable that is a car this is far if you want to do it and this is basically what this looks like so as much as i don't like doing this kind of stuff because of my losing money here at this place big time contract that was made is done in about exactly the same fashion as the car sale was done basically gives you no rights it gives you nothing and the whole thing is based on the lie um, according to the landlord he recorded himself the first day I suggested how everything is new and that's why i went ahead and i video recorded the whole thing to prove that nothing really was new place already was trashed if anything I have improved one painted whatever was messed up and stuff like this this here that you see this also this was right where your bed is this also was demonstrated to me under MK Ultra they would get in and out from here this is yet another feature about this beautiful place. And so, just want to make sure this thing is recording. It's the right way, like this. So it, it is. And so now, crippled in a temperatures, in a sub-zero temperatures, screwed with a car, in a, in a situation like this, as you know, if you want to go take a shower or something like this, the way you do it, if you ever find yourself in this kind of situation, make sure you eat good, so you get energy, you get calories, your body get heat, and then you go and you shower yourself. Uh, but this is how I survived three months. Uh, it is damn sure it's inhumane. I was told that by the guy from Ukraine that he was the one who lasted longer than anybody and that was without heating until mid-November that he did. No, so I did about one and a half months longer than anybody else did. And they had all kinds of stuff like this going on. And if I wouldn't do it, it would be really costly, even through the stuff that I bought was already costly and so on, to hit myself, to get by somehow. I did not hit myself. I used maybe a heater to dry socks, uh, maybe twice. I used it for about maybe altogether maybe one hour, I did not even heat it for one hour. 
that's all there was. This is how I have saved money rather than throwing uh, one on, a, on a electricity tremendously. It was really used to financially destroy you, for you to literally eat yourself, for you to so many problems they have created. I did not even spoke about my business, how they got me into the business. Um, it's also something that's coming. It's more video that I have to do. That from all these problems, if you would be not like, you know, mentally, they, they guaranteed me that I would develop definitely mental problems from this stuff because of this stuff. And that's why I know I did really, really well. I don't care what anybody have to say because I can knock on a wood, have experienced exactly zero mental problems in this situation. And that's a good stuff. The situation to which William referred to as national emergency situation. They wanted me to see myself in like national emergency type of like situations. This Buckingham Palace, this is extremely abusive. Uh, extremely, extremely abusive people. And so, yes, I can knock on a wood and say that at least that twice I don't okay. For other stuff, I'm still going to have to post online that is just too much stuff. This place was in video monitored and eggs dropped. They watched. They listened, according to the gentleman whom I have met the other day, and he reminded me of what he told me by, this is, a, this is fact, he reminded me of, he works in, you see, maybe I shouldn't even say that, I might not even meet him again. Well, I would like to. The thing is that, he told me, what you see here for the last year and half that I'm here brought to Poland about $700 million. He said, this is already, he said, this is extremely unethical. Polish people condemn this stuff. This is really a torture, a crippling torture. Really, the idea was guys that fry themselves food here and stuff like this gained enormous amount of kilos i think i did gain about probably five kilos i have to go weight myself see what's going on um they ended up having uh, surgeries Borat papa who was here had a disc surgery secretly done I know all about it because he told me about these things. They were angry that I'm not doing this, that, that, that I avoided this and so on. It's disgusting. I don't know what I would say uh, about all this stuff. They would hospitalize me and they would place me inside of the mental hospital and the next thing I would find myself with the Andrea uh, inside of the Buckingham Palace in London. A nurse that would come to visit me in home. So this is this is this you go from the mental institution behind the walls of the mental institution. You are transported behind the walls of the castle to the real lunatics that suggest you that you have to do things and whatever they demand from you. So basically, they know about everything they dig and everything, the whole thing. I am completely speechless about this whole thing. Before, when I said, when I used the word Ukrainian, that's what I'm saying is that the individual doesn't have anything with Ukraine. Um, this individual that is Donald Trump team and KGB, they believe that they're going to, Kaczynski insisted that Poland doesn't need me. It's Russia that needs me. They, they had the whole scenario done in a such a way that they're going to get me to the Russia no matter what, and I'm going to find myself over there and so on. Buckingham Palace and so on. This is just all synchronized, synchronized to, to destroy individual, to, to, to destroy you completely. 
no, this is what I have gone through here. This is why I was not happy. Uh, now, today is the 23rd of December 2019, a few days I'm going to be out of here, so it's okay for me to post this stuff. I have to take this landlord to the court. Individual here in charge of the staff of study gestured me that you cannot leave from, you know, going, taking people to the court. You cannot, no, I cannot leave like this. But I should leave by being destroyed like this, by being damaged. This is the way it should be. This, this is what the life should be about. Let's say. So this is this is ridiculous. I'm age 48, like this, without wife, without the children. A rocket man, literally. And it's something that uh, Buckingham Palace obviously, evidently, prided itself with. There's one more thing I'm going to demonstrate to you. And this is what I was told, what it would mean, it would mean for me, translated for me, what that would mean, basically, translated to me as that I would not meet the requirements. If I would not meet the requirements, they would demonstrate to me the news like this that means that girl that i was interested in the psychologist that sh they would give her the sign like this so she would not get involved with me they would start to write the news like this yeah this is okay we're gonna get somehow this going I hope this is the news that is related so today to as much as Poland related to alimonies in Poland that amount to about 2.75 billion euros not even Polish Zlotys but 11 something million Zlotis related to child support, alimony, and stuff like that. For the stuff, for the video recordings and audio recordings, I have dripping, I uh, if dripping. I have the proof for that too, not in a form that I would find these devices. I'm not going to even humiliate myself and do this. Um, this folks is so sophisticated that this can be and in bulbs and in wall and whatever it might be whatever they are using if you have seen the building behind me uh, i was already i already touched certain topics i will not be doing this stuff uh, this is basically this is one of the things and they did this because of Basically, what I was told is that torture will have to be part of this so they can find out it would have to be this location like this. They have made an agreement with Kaczynski. They have made an agreement with Polish government that I would have to be in such a location so that they would get an exact idea about where they are standing with the whole thing. Um, what exactly is it that according to this they would see the political situation because i was so much involved in this the involvement in this stuff and i was with these politicians not only with them but also eastern european politicians and so that they would had to subject me to this type of degradation so they would get you know you're by yourself, you're talking to yourself, and you know, it's all kinds of stuff that goes on. You have heard about artificial intelligence. In Belarus, I remember, I would sit like this, and it would be like this window building next to ours in this Belarus asylum, and the only thing you would hear, it would be like, like this. You would hear, because it's a voice to school technology they used, 
Here, if they use one, I'm not even aware of it because I have a sound this sh all the time. Uh, what they have used, I do not know. The memories in this place were super strong. They didn't even have to use anything. And I already have mentioned the issue of Elon Musk. Basically, in Grotniki, where I was demonstrated by Elon Musk, um, told, brainwashed on how I was implanted with, you know, his technology, with his net that is injected in you and it spreads and then it's You know how you would say that I don't even know how I would relate to that it's uh, yeah, it doesn't come to me right now this shit is disturbing I don't want to think about it I don't want to pay attention to I don't actually believe don't want to believe in stuff like this I ignore the stuff like this it doesn't touch me and if it would be I would still use it you know in best way possible to myself this is the worst thing you can do is that you burn yourself with stuff like this but <coughs> it doesn't have anything to do with it <coughs> it happened on occasions that i would stop on a semaphore light and i would wait for <coughs> green one of course And the change between the green one that came up and the red one was so short that maybe two, three cars that were in front of me would get through, I would not get through. Um, if it would be green and instead of that it would turn the game red, nothing unusual here. Uh, if they wanted to position you in a certain situation, like earlier I have suggested about they have anticipated on how I would even become mentally ill because of the stuff like this. They tortured me, suggesting the stuff like this under MK Ultra. They would put me in this very car and they would grab the papers like this and just have me hold them and then one would go and just bump like this into the papers and this would just hit me and fly. Now you're mentally ill, now you're this, now you're that. And they would make sure that when you would appear with certain stuff that you're doing that you would park exactly on a spot where they did this to you by basically having cars parked and so on. So in details. You're going to see beautiful stuff. I have audio recording, video recording about the tickets, uh, garage tickets. Uh, they know where I take the tickets. Actually, no. You will take a trash, like let's say you have a chocolate. I have a chocolate. And this is why I know that I was video recorded on every millimeter, wherever I would go. And I, you would dump one in a dump in a trash can. And you try to go through to the gate garage gate where you had to submit a ticket by the accident in the same pocket you had the ticket and it would be already security officer that in the shopping mall they number one they switch you the ticket because before you even go to gate you remind yourself that you you by accident along with this chocolate wrapping paper that also was a ticket uh, and you dump one and you would go back to this dumpster get the ticket and instead of that they would they would give you a printout of two tickets that would hold each other and stuff like this and when you would approach the gate gate would not work and that security officer would tell you that you were watched that you were surveillance that they know everything and stuff like this completely completely surveillance completely watched 24 7 like i said 